Geopolitical tensions in East Asia, Eastern Europe and the Middle East have kept the United States on its toes over the years. China, for instance, keeps increasing its military spending annually and has armed its warships with hypersonic missiles. North Korea isn't left out, as it has stealthily equipped its ships and submarines with nuclear weapons. However, the United States military seems unfazed by these moves as it continues to exert itself as the most dominating military power in the world. Join us in this video as we look at how the US Navy has admitted to creating military equipment and weapons so advanced that they can't be stopped. The United States military has always been known for some of the best superweapons in Warcraft. However, the US Navy recently outdid itself with the development of the laser-powered USS Gerald Ford ship. Named after the 38th President of the US, Gerald Ford, who fought in World War II, the naval vessel is the lead ship of its class among the United States Navy aircraft carriers. Embarking on its first deployment on October 4, 2022, the United States had to trade off $13.3 billion to create this largest and most expensive warship. The Gerald Ford is the first completed product of the United States' attempt to build the next generation of warships. The 333-meter-long ship is the largest aircraft carrier in the world and was designed to help the United States maintain its superiority in naval warfare. With a five-acre flight deck and housing the latest military technologies, Ford is enough to keep the US enemies in line, especially China, whose growing military weaponization over the years has put Pentagon on its toes. However, the US government has had little to worry about ever since USS Gerard Ford came into the scene. The nine-story warship holds four squadrons of fighter jets on board and a large fleet of support and technical aircraft, numbering 60 planes. The warship has the capacity to extend to 90 planes, so it's not surprising that it has been termed the most powerful ship in the world. Gerald Ford's air power is more than that of 60 sovereign nations, and it houses more stealth fighters than can be found in all of Russia's armed forces. No wonder Putin keeps giving Washington the cold shoulder. Ford is a naval masterpiece as it weighs 97,000 tons, which is 32,000 tons heavier than the largest battleships used in World War II. You would agree that the US Navy has come a long way with this latest invention, as its large size doesn't mean it's slow. Instead, it is one of the fastest warships in the world and cruises on the sea at 34.5 miles per hour. According to the Navy, Ford is powered by a pair of advanced A-1B nuclear reactors, so it has nearly three times the power of the existing military supercarriers. The nuclear reactors on board means the vessel is fully autonomous, and the nuclear energy is enough for it to run without stopping to refuel for the next 20, 25 years. The USS Gerald Ford is home to some of the deadliest weapon systems in the world. On board the ship are two evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, two rolling airframe missiles and three MK-15 Phalanx close-in weapon systems. These missiles travel so fast and are used to protect the ship from missiles and enemy aircraft. They inflict serious damage on the anti-ship missiles of China and other US enemies. But it doesn't stop here. The Ford is equipped with a new technology, the laser. Powered by the two Betchel A-1B nuclear reactors, the lasers travel at the speed of light and are more than a match for China and Russia's hypersonic weapons. In the event of an attack from a swarm of drones, the warship can reload quickly to protect itself. Unlike other cruisers, it doesn't require stores for ammunition, so it has almost unlimited firing opportunities. You would agree that the USS Gerald Ford is a beast in naval warfare. Developed by the Newport News Shipbuilding for the United States Navy, the construction of the warship began on August 11, 2005, and it was christened on November 9, 2013. Although it was originally scheduled for delivery in 2015, it was completed and delivered to the Navy on May 31, 2017. It is the first warship to be designed using a 3D model and is the first of a class of nuclear-powered aircraft carriers developed by the US Navy to replace the existing NIMPS-class carriers. As the lead ship in the class, Gerald Ford replaced Enterprise. One would think that this warship would have a larger crew, but it doesn't. It has a smaller crew of 2,600 sailors, 700 less than a NIMPS-class carrier. With features like the electromagnetic aircraft launch system and advanced arresting gear landing system, 
The USS Gerald Ford is a nightmare to China's growing hypersonic weapons development. USS Zumwalt Warship When Elmo Zumwalt Jr. joined the United States Navy Academy in 1939 and rose to become the youngest chief of naval operations in 1970, little did he know he would one day have a destroyer named after him. The USS Zumwalt is one of the United States naval masterpieces and is the lead ship of the Zumwalt class. The guided missile destroyer was commissioned on October 15, 2016. Unlike other destroyer classes designed primarily for deep water combat, the Zumwalt has a multi-mission capability. You can call it a jack-of-many-trades ship. With the Zumwalt, the US has a destroyer ship that can support ground forces in land attacks and perform usual destroyer missions such as anti-air, anti-surface and anti-submarine warfare. The $4.4 billion destroyer is equipped with two advanced gun systems capable of firing long-range land attack projectiles in naval and land warfare attacks. Before the commissioning of Gerald Ford, the Zumwalt was the most advanced surface warship. It features a state-of-the-art electric propulsion system, wave-piercing tumble-home hull, stealth design, and the latest warfighting technology. By commissioning the Zumwalt, the US assures its citizens and allows them to be protected by a warship with the latest warfighting weaponry. With the Zumwalt, the United States maintains its dominance in the maritime environment by performing a range of deterrence, power projection, sea control, command, and control missions. The stealth ability of the Zumwalt is a thorn in the flesh of the enemy radar because the imposing ship is difficult to find, whether close to the shore or far out to sea. With a feature like this, you can bet that the Zumwalt would be great at exploiting the element of surprise in warfare. The Zumwalt has a larger flight deck than most destroyers and has enough space to host Joint Strike Fighters, MV-22 Ospreys, unmanned systems and a vertical launch system. The warship utilizes an integrated power system powered by Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines and Rolls-Royce RR-4500 turbine generators. The surface combatant ship generates approximately 78 megawatts of power, similar to the energy generated by a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. It produces enough electricity to power a small town. The ship's imposing knife-like bow makes it more stable in heavy seas than other destroyers and cruisers. The 600-foot Zumwalt can accommodate 158 crew members and is equipped with RIM-66 standard missile, RIM-162 evolved Sea Sparrow missile, BGM-109 Tomahawk, and an advanced gun system with a 920-round magazine. Construction of the warship was awarded to Bath Iron Works in February 2008. It was launched in October 2013 and commissioned in October 2016. Although its home port is in San Diego, California, the commissioning occurred in Baltimore during the Navy's Fleet Week. Cruising at a speed of 38.6 miles per hour, USS Zumwalt has a displacement of 14,564 tons and is armed with 80 launch cells. Its integrated electric propulsion system can send electricity from the turbo generators to the electric drive motors or weapons. The total ship computing environment infrastructure automated firefighting systems and automated piping rupture isolation. Its enclosed hangar can house up to two medium lift helicopters. The USS Zumwalt is the first ship of Zumwalt class destroyers and was supported by two other ships, Michael Monsoor and Lyndon B. Johnson. Zumwalt is designed to run on a smaller crew and low operating cost while defending US maritime interests. An automated computer system controls the Zumwalt's dual-band sonar and can be used to detect mines and submarines. Despite not being equipped with onboard torpedo tubes, its helicopters and ASROC missiles are used to destroy submarines that the sonar and other undersea sensors pick up. By leveraging its highly automated system, the destroyer has a crew size of 130, less than half of similar warships. The Zumwalt class was birthed from the Land Attacker Destroyer program. The initial plan was to produce 32 ships in the class with a proposed budget of $9.6 billion on research and development. However, as the cost estimates shot up, the number of ships was reduced to 24, then 7 and finally 3. The cost per ship rose to $4.7 billion, more than the cost per unit of a nuclear-powered Virginia-class submarine. If the Zumwalt seems deadly, wait till you hear that the Navy plans to replace its advanced gun system with hypersonic missiles. Helios system. If there is one thing the US military has mastered, 
It is introducing game-changing cutting-edge technology in warfare. The US Navy is the latest beneficiary of military innovation with the launch of the High Energy Laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance, or Helios for short. Integrating the Helios weapon system has advanced the odds of ship combat in favor of the United States Navy. The Helios system has multi-mission capabilities ranging from long-range intelligence and surveillance to reconnaissance, with a deep magazine, low cost per kill, speed of light delivery and precision, the Helios system is more than equipped to counter possible threats from enemy forces. A product of long-term internal research and development projects, Helios fulfills the US Navy's long-time dream of arming its warships with laser-powered weapon systems. The US Navy partnered with Lockheed Martin to deliver this high-weapon system. Helios is the first of two 60-kilowatt-class tactical laser weapon systems to be equipped on naval ships. Lockheed Martin was awarded the $150 million contract in 2018, and by 2020, it had completed the system's design. The Navy wasted no time in testing and integrating the system on its warships. The first warship to do the honors was the US Navy Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, USS Preble. The laser system is installed on Preble's main superstructure, on a modified platform whose original design was to accommodate a 20mm Vulcan cannon-armed MK-15 Phalanx close-in weapon system. The treble has no reason to miss the Phalanx close-in weapon system because the Helios system can damage and destroy approaching target sets like smaller drones and boats. According to Hamid Salim, Vice President Advanced Product Solutions at Lockheed Martin, this is a transformational weapon system. Laser systems are no longer years away, they are here now. Although it is not as sophisticated as the nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the Helios system has several damaging cards up its sleeves. Helios can act as a dazzler to blind or confuse optical sensors on enemy ships and aircraft. It also uses this dazzling effect to confuse optical seekers on incoming missiles and other ammunition. Thus, the Navy can counter incoming weapons from the enemy or limit the enemy's general situational awareness and surveillance capabilities. So, if the enemy decides to proceed with their attack, they will be running blindly into the advanced weapon system of a Helios-powered warship. Besides the Arleigh Burke Flight Surrey destroyer, Helios can be used on other ship types and combat systems such as aircraft carriers and big deck amphibs with the ship self-defense system. With its optical sensors, Helios can spot, track and cue the laser, helping it to perform its surveillance role on sea effectively. Integrating the Helios system has given the US Navy more bragging rights in its effort to protect the maritime interests of the US and its allies. What is more intriguing about this laser system is that its design allows room for growth. Lockheed Martin has begun talks of increasing the maximum power of the laser up to 150 kilowatts. If the Navy succeeds in increasing the system's power to a 150 kilowatt class system, it will be able to deal with larger and more complex threats, such as low-flying cruise missiles and aircraft and artillery rockets. However, the launch of Helios is just the US Navy's tip of the iceberg regarding its full directed energy ambitions. It is set to include high-power microwave-based systems that will give North Korea and China's armament programs a run for their money. A flight-destroying laser system Apart from being the largest and most powerful naval force, the US Navy has been at the forefront of technological military advancement. Even though its active battle fleet exceeds that of the next 13 navies combined, the US Navy is unrelenting in its effort to remain the number one navy in naval warfare. It is pursuing this goal by producing high-energy weapons every other day. While the rest of the world was trying to adapt to the new normal of the COVID-19 virus in 2020, the US Navy was putting to test its latest sophisticated ammunition, a flight-destroying laser weapon. The Navy Pacific Fleet announced sometime in May 2020 that they had tested the high-energy weapon capable of shooting down and destroying flying aircraft. The weapon was tested on the popular amphibious US dock ship, USS Portland. Based on the current images and videos of the testing, the solid-state laser can easily stop an enemy in-drone aircraft. This shows how far the US Navy has come in its effort to safeguard the nation's waterways. Although the Navy has been quite secretive about the laser weapon and the exact location of its testing, a 2018 report from the International Institute for Strategic Studies puts the power of the laser system at 150 kilowatts. 
The Navy has confirmed that the laser is effective in attacking enemy drones and warships, so the Navy has got itself an unconventional fight machine that dominates both aerial and naval warfare. We can only hope the Navy will be more open about this mysterious laser system in the coming days. Despite China and Russia's growing interference in geopolitics, the United States remains committed to maintaining world peace. With these advanced warships and weapon systems developed by the US Navy, you will agree that the military has the equipment needed to fulfill this responsibility. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Do you feel these weapons are necessary for preventing World War III? Let's know your opinions in the comment section. For more exciting videos like this, click the next video on your screen.